Hi, this is Sarit Schwetzer, and welcome to the It Is Taught podcast, a podcast devoted to the teachings of Rabbi Schneir Zalman of Liadi, as recorded in his most famous work, the Tanya. My hope for this show is to make these teachings accessible and relatable to the average person, regardless of prior Jewish education or affiliation. The episodes follow the prescribed daily study portions and are meant to serve as practical lessons in how to live your life as your true self and develop an authentic and powerful relationship with your Creator. I have personally experienced the effects the study of this work has had on me, and I'm excited to share what I can of this knowledge with you. So please join me on this journey of learning, self-growth, and connection with your Source. Hi, and welcome to the It Is Top podcast. This is episode 76 for the fifth of Adar Rishon in a leap year. And today's topic is delicacies. So believe it or not, this is actually not my own analogy. This is what the Alter Rebbe himself brings up, is the topic of physical delicacies that we eat. And he will demonstrate how this is relevant to our service of God. And we are in the middle of chapter 27. I realize that I often forget to mention where we're up to in the text. So I guess I'll try to remember to do that. So it's the middle of chapter 27 now, continuing with the last couple of episodes that we've been focusing on. And so, okay, so back to delicacies. So the Altar Abba breaks down delicacies into two general categories. The first category is sweet delicacies. And the second category is... A little bit more broad, he encompasses in that sour delicacies, spicy, bitter, things like that, those kind of foods, which can also be thought of as delicacies. So now if you think about these two things, something that he points out with these two things is that when it comes to sweet delicacies, so you know, you think about uh, ice cream, cookies, fruit even can fall into this category. So when you really break down their main ingredients of what it is that makes them sweet, this sweetness doesn't really require anything additional to it. Like you can just eat a sweet grape as is, right? Sugar, you know, sugar cane, ice cream, like even if it's made up of different ingredients, the the thing that makes it sweet in its own right is sweet on its own. It's just, it tastes good. We eat it. We like it. (laughs) It doesn't require a lot. And you'll even see in recipes, usually when it, when it comes to recipes for dessert, there might be some spices that are added here and there, but it's not that essential. Like if you skip the cinnamon or cardamom or something like that, like sure, it's going to make it like not as amazing, but it will still be pretty good. You know, it's still going to be palatable and edible. However, when it comes to the second type of delicacies, when we talk about sour, spicy, bitter kind of delicacies, this is where spice is really, really important. So I mean, there are some weirders out there who do like to eat lemons on their own, like just will sit there and eat a lemon like as if it's an apple. But this isn't really commonplace, right? Or radish, you know, who's sitting there eating radishes regularly? I mean, personally, actually, I don't mind the taste of radishes. But usually speaking, generally speaking, these types of foods usually do involve and need a little bit more spice to them to make them palatable and especially enjoyable and especially to get them to the point where we'd call them a delicacy. So how is this relevant to Tanya and what does this have to do with what we're going to learn? So the Ultra explains how the same way that there are two different types of physical delicacies, sweet and sour, we'll call it just to keep it simple. There are two types of spiritual delicacies, meaning to say two different types of ways that God derives enjoyment from our service. That's that those are delicacies for God. There's a sweet kind of delicacy for God. And what that involves is when something really, when the negativity of the world, we've been talking specifically about negativity of thoughts or impulses, when these are totally and a hundred percent transformed and become totally good. And the, this type of a delicacy, quote unquote, is in the category of a tzaddik. This is what tzaddikim can accomplish. They can accomplish this thing where they are able to transform their negative impulses into good entirely. And we've talked about this a little bit previously. The second type of delicacy on a spiritual level is the more sour type. So what does that mean? This is the type of delicacy that is more relevant to Benonim, to the average folk, to people like you and me, who we are not actually transforming 
our negative impulses into positive impulses completely, but we're actually just subduing them. We're actually just like pushing them down. So just like if you were to make a a salad of some type that had a lot of bitter vegetables in it and um, a lot of lemon and things like that, you want to temper the taste of all of those things with different spices. So it doesn't mean you want to hide those flavors because we are, you know, there is a delicacy involved in the fact that these things are sour or bitter or spicy, but we do, they do need spice. They do need to be added. They do need to be tempered. So this is similar to the fact that the average person who is trying to be like a banani, the service of a banani is not to eradicate their evil impulse completely because this is impossible. And this is actually not their job. Their job is rather to temper it, to spice it, to push it down. And if you go back and listen to yesterday's episode, this ties into what we have already begun to learn about, that in fact, the entire purpose of our creation, the entire purpose of our existence as people striving to be Benonim is this struggle, is exactly this, is pushing down our evil impulses. So let's get into the text and see how the Alter Rebbe explains it. So the Alter Rebbe says that there are two types of nachas, like two types of, uh, of satisfaction, spiritual satisfaction that God gets above. The first is by nullifying the Sitra Acha completely and changing it from bitterness into sweetness and from darkness into light. And this happens through tzaddikim. And the second one is to push down, subdue the Sitra Acha while it is still in its full strength and full might and is lifting itself up as if it's like an eagle. Remember, we likened it to being like an eagle yesterday. And from there, uh, Hashem, God, pushes it down. How does Hashem push it down? Through the Esarusa de la Tata, through the arousal from below, through the Benanim. So through the Benanim down here, pushing aside this their Sitra Acha, their own negative impulses, this causes God to shoot down that eagle on high. And this is what is written, and the Altar Rabbi here cites the Torah in Breshit chapter 27 verse 4 where it says which literally means that you should make delicacies for me like I love so this is a reference to what's happening there for context in the Torah this is when Yitzchak uh, tells this is what Yitzchak says to Esav that he should he tells Esav to make different delicacies for him and then he will give him a blessing but the altar Rabbi says here that spiritually speaking what this is actually talking about is it's talking about the delicacies that we give to God and he points out the fact here that when it says delicacies it doesn't say make a delicacy one delicacy for me but it actually says delicacies in plural why because there are two types of delicacies for God there's two ways that God gets spiritual satisfaction and this is what the shrina the the divine dwelling is saying to its children to all of israel as is explained in the tikkunim so i guess the tikkunim goes into this a little bit more and so then the altar Rabbi says here this is now he brings in the analogy he says just like we see with physical delicacies as by way of analogy, that there are two types of delicacies. One is from that is more sweet, so sweet and more luscious kind of foods. And the other one is delicacies which are more sharp and more sour, like more spicy. And just that, the, you know, like you wouldn't want to eat them at first glance, but then when they are spiced and prepared in the right way, then they become actually really good and they taste really good. And so this is what is written. So the altar rabbi here brings a pasuk, uh, brings a citation from Mishle, from chapter 16, verse 4 of Mishle, where it says, Kol pa'al Hashem lemanehu v'gam rasha liyom ra'a, which literally means that God has created everything for his sake, even the wicked for the day of evil. So like that on first glance, that seems a little strange. It's like, so God created everything for his sake, even wicked people. Like, why did God create wicked people? But now we can understand this because why did God create wicked people? Just like, why does there exist bitter or sour kind of foods? It's in order for these wicked people to return and, and to reform themselves out of their negativity and to transform their darkness into light, like their evil into light, so to speak. And when the Sitra Achra is subdued in this manner, then the glory of God is uplifted on high. And we talked about that yesterday, how it's, it causes this ascension on high in a very, very, very high way. So that is the text of today. So 
-hmm. again, just to recap, that basically, just like there are physical delicacies that are in the categories of sweet and sour, there are spiritual delicacies that give God great spiritual satisfaction. And these are different types of service. Some are the, the sweet spiritual delicacies would be the service of the tzaddikim who are able to transform their evil into good entirely and the more sour type which needs more spice and proper preparation in order to make it palatable and taste good is more the service of those striving to be a banani, which is those people who do not transform their evil inclinations into good but they rather subdue it constantly and are constantly pushing it down and pushing it down and this when this happens, this creates a very, very strong effect on high where the glory of God ascends in all the, in all the worlds in a very profound way. So that's it. And we will continue tomorrow. I'll speak to you then. Thanks for listening to the It Is Top podcast hosted by Sri Switzer. This podcast is dedicated in loving memory of my maternal grandfather, Abraham Yitzhak ben Binyamin Cohen of Blessed Memory. Music by Shoshana. If you enjoyed this episode and would like to support the show, please share it with others and subscribe on YouTube, Apple iTunes, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts. And make sure to leave us a five-star review. To find out more about the It Is Top project, including more information on my soon-to-be-published book, please visit our website, itistaught.com. To catch the latest from me, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Looking forward to speaking with you tomorrow. And until then, have a great day.